Hey, what's up, my YouTubers? Um, today I got another one for you. It's about a house in Alabama. It's called the Dirsch House. It was built in 1837 in the middle of a 550-acre plantation by Dr. John R. Dirsch, one of the earliest settlers in Tuscaloosa. So, basically... So, how did this house become so haunted? Well, here's how it goes. Dr. Dirsch loved gambling and drinking. He died in 1867 from falling down the stairs while he was supposedly drunk. While he was supposed to, okay, sorry about that. Sarah, Dr. Dirsch's wife, was obsessed with planning her husband's funeral so much it became an over-the-top elaborate event. She kept the candles that she used at his funeral. And then she decided... She was going to use the same candles at her funeral when she died. Let's see, yeah, Sarah died in 1884. Her family members searched everywhere for the candles and did everything in their power to fulfill her last wish. Sadly, the candles were never found. And her last wish was never fulfilled. Many people believe this angered Sarah enough to where she's responsible for the haunting of the house. A Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Never mind. Sorry about that. <laughs> the best well-known haunting to occur in the Dirsch house is the third floor story tower. There, however, there have been several reports of fires in the third floor story tower. However, they have never found the evidence of this. Anything at all about a fire. They haven't got any evidence of it. Many people now assume that Sarah was lighting the candles that were supposed to be used at her funeral. Creepy, right? And then I also found another interesting thing about it. In 2008, there were some paranormal investigators that took a tour of the Dirt House and captured several strange occurrences. The Dirsch house was featured in a story, actually. The Death Lights in the Tower. It is also a popular book called 13 as an avenue for hosting large events like parties and weddings and stuff. Pretty cool, huh? So, if you ever want to go check it out, all you have to do is look it up. All you have to do is type in the Dirsch House, and you'll find more information on it. And if you want to, you can share it in the comments, you know, and hit that like button. For now, I gotta go, and I will have another video for you guys soon.